All right. Let me get everything set up real quick, boys. Turn this down a little bit before they uh, before they flag me. Yeah, what's going on, Carlton? It may very well be, bro. That's why I decided to go, even though it's an away game. I'm going with the Drake May jersey. Because you just never know these days. What's going on, Blair? Got about 10 minutes man 10 minutes for everybody to get in here and get ready for a ride this one should be fun <clears throat> you think you're kind of the ball game i don't know man <clears throat> i don't know Watching the game tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll see, Carlton. Maybe they'll maybe they'll start creeping in, dude. Or are you talking about uh Lil Russ is he's trying to look for a football. Somehow that thing got misplaced. And then obviously Ramesses is already uh he's already gone into his hiding place. I think he knows what time it is. Yeah. Yeah, Lil Russ and ears, I know. Little Russ! Where's the football? Of course you can't. <laughs> Little Russ can't find the football. <laughs> what you think, man? What you think? I'm really interested to see how this thinking football game starts off. I'm really interested to see how this daggone football game starts off, man. This is uh this is an all important one. If you know what I'm saying. For so many reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. This one is this one is so important. This one is really important, man. I mean, like. To go eight and four in the regular season, I think would be a huge letdown. It's already kind of like teetering on that. You find it? Look, there he is. The man of the hour. Little Russ, everybody. He's got his Tez Walker jersey on. There he is. <laughs> Clemson's up seven nothing on South Carolina. And Florida's. Yeah. Florida's beating Florida State right now. That's pretty crazy. That's it. That's it, bro. Cross town for bragging rights. Man, this one is stinking important, bro. A loss here. A loss here is going to be like wholesale change, dude. It's going to be, it's going to have to be wholesale change if they, if they don't come out with a W on this one, man. I'll tell you what, <clears throat> most important thing I'm calling it right now is Carolina needs to run the football against that 3-3 stack because they are going to be bringing all kinds of pressure from all different types of angles, and Carolina's offensive line has not been great at keeping Drake clean. So I think this game really does hinge on O'Marion. And uh, his ability, to, we're going to have to ride him to victory tonight. If they're going to put three on the line of scrimmage, man, we got to run the football. What's going on, T-Wall? Go Heels, baby. Let's go Heels. But this is going to be the, uh, this is going to be the O'Mary and Hampton game. <clears throat> we'll see, NC State. I'm glad you came in here, little bro. 
Come in here and get you some. It's always cute when little bro starts uh, starts chirping. <laughs> You're a football school. <laughs> hey, I made a video about that. I should have labeled it comedy. Because the fact that you guys think that you're a football school is seriously comedy. I think it's one of those, it's one of those, uh, yeah, yeah, we're obviously going to be respectful and clean, Carlton. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's college football. But, but the whole we're a football school thing is, is pretty funny. I think it's one of those things where, where NC State fans think because they try really hard, it means that they're a football school. Hey, we really try hard. You know, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a, it's kind of like a little kid, you know, that, that um, you know, he tries really hard in practice. And he's like, coach, I, I tried hard, right? He's like, yeah, you did, Johnny. You know, but you didn't score the touchdown. Yeah, I know, but I tried hard. Okay, you know, good job, Johnny. Oh, well, we already know their basketball team's garbage, man. Oh, you, you're ranked for the first time. You're ranked for the first time, and now you're a football school. I know. We know, NC State. We know. We know. We'll see you at the end of the game. Hey. You're not a top 20 team in college football. You're number 22, which means you're outside of the top 20. See, this is what I'm talking about. Simple math. This is just simple math that you're unable to, you're unable to comprehend it. It's okay though, man. <clears throat> oh, I would love to get LSU in a bowl game, man. That'd be great. The question is, does Daniels and uh, Drake may both play in that bowl game? <clears throat> I don't know, man. What bowl game do you think NC State gets at eight and four? I thought this was the Super Bowl. <laughs> Hey, tell them, Carlton. Hey, we're number 22. We're, the, we're a top 20 team in the nation. That's that's funny. That's funny right there. That's funny. I bet you you said that with your finger in your belly button, NC State. <laughs> Dead. Dead. <laughs> oh, man, that's Dead. funny. I mean, MJ Morris already left you guys. So. What's up? Huh? I don't know what you're saying, son. What? No. <laughs> Here they are. Here comes little bro. Go heels, Blair. Go heels. Yeah, it's a big game, guys. Big game, baby. <laughs> yep. Hey, go over there and tell your sister to stop whatever she's doing. I think she's getting like something. Or like, I think she's putting something on the wall. Why are you brainwashing the poor little kid to like NC State? How did you mix those up? Dude, you gotta be a troll, bro. I don't even think you're an NC State fan now. That doesn't even make any sense. You're just all over the place, bro. You been drinking? All right, back guys. Three tailgates in the wind, exactly. Oh, you're an you're an LSU and an NC State fan, which means you have just you have just informed us that you deserve zero credibility. I got you, man. And you're high. Okay. All right. Well, that makes a little bit of sense. Yeah, Carlton. I think he's a. Uh, I think he's going to be a character. 
but basically he said don't give any credence to anything he says because he doesn't really have a team. It's just whoever's good. <laughs> Go, man. RNC State. You're getting like more and more unintelligible. Put down the ball, bro. They need to go in there, bro, and they need to shut their mouths early, man. That's going to be a huge key. And I'm telling you, run the football. Run the football. Oh, wow. Georgia Tech is up seven to nothing on Georgia. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, well, <clears throat> yes, run it, Daniel. We need to run the football. I'm telling you, man, pound it, especially against that, that three man front, bro. Got to establish the run in this one, man. Got to establish the run. Last thing I want is them drawing up all kinds of stinking exotic blitzes and just coming from out of nowhere. You know, we've been terrible at picking that stuff up. The one thing that we've done fairly consistently well is run block. So, yeah, we got Drake May. I get it. But what does the team do well? <clears throat> we run the football well. So let's run the stinking football. Here comes little bro. Oh, little bro coming out. Yeah, Michigan won too, man, which I'm glad. I'm glad Michigan won. Win the state, baby. Win the state. What's going on, Brown? Go Heels, baby. Hey, y'all remember that T.A. McClendon stop? Who remembers the T.A. McClendon stop? How stinking awesome was that game? NC State, you guys don't even have, you don't have colors, okay? There's no team in the country that's red and purple, bro. None. So, stop talking. Bro, you don't even deserve a response. Baby blue and white is copying Duke. You're not very intelligent. Yeah, yeah, the fight at the end of the game, yeah. What was that? You talking about the, uh, um, what game was that? What year was that game, Carlton? I'm trying to think what year that was. Was that the last one? Was that 2016? You're an elevator installer that gets high on Saturday night to watch the football game. <clears throat> and then you come on to Carolina's, a Carolina channel and you tell everybody that you're actually an LSU fan. Or you're all over the place, man. You're out of your stinking mind right now. The last Larry season, it might, what, 20... 2017? 2018? When they were real bad? <laughs> what y'all think, man? What's the game going to be like? Anybody but the LSU fan in here?
I'm actually uh, I'm actually thinking that Carolina might be able to stick and stop their offense, dude. I mean, they really don't have anything outside of KC Concepcion. And as long as you can stink and keep Brennan Armstrong in the pocket, might be all right, man. The, the one thing that is worrying me is just like them completing the short intermediate passes, those uh, quick slants and stuff like that. <clears throat> no, I mean, he's not. T. Wall, he's not even an NC State fan, bro. He's a, uh, what's going on, big dog? What's up, baby? He's an LSU fan. And he just assumes that I'm a truck driver. <laughs> That's funny. What do you do, drive trucks? Oh, man, you get smarter and smarter as the night goes on, my friend. Bro, does, it, does NC State not have, like, I mean, obviously, Adidas already makes, like, terrible uniforms. And they have just, like, their uniforms are just atrocious. They're so plain and just, like, it's just ugly, man. It's just an ugly uniform. And it's not even, like, there are good red, white, and black teams, like, the, the, the uniforms, NC State has always just had really bad uniforms, bro. That Carolina blue and white, baby! Let's go! It's about time to get turned up! Come on, Matt! I need you to stink in. I need you to put it on a Mac. Carter Finley Stadium is not more iconic. That's dumb, bro. Keenan Memorial every year, people say, is one of the most beautiful stadiums in all of college football. I'm telling you right now, bro, as somebody who lives out of state, nobody knows who NC State is, bro. Nobody outside of the state of North Carolina knows who NC State is. And I am not being facetious. If you even can understand what that word is, Mr. NC State. People ask me, like, is that the red team? Yeah, yeah, it's the red team. What's their mascot? Nobody cares, bro. When they when they think of North Carolina, they think of North Carolina. So you can go ahead and get it. Look, I've been all over this country, bro, and there's not a lot of people who know. When, they, when you tell them you're from North Carolina, they think Tar Heels, and some people will think Duke. That's it, bro. You guys are the redheaded stepchild, man. Sorry to burst your bubble. I know you want to be big boys, but there are there are actually big boys in the room. Let's go, Hampton. Let's go, baby. Woo! Here we go. How y'all feeling, man? How y'all feeling? I am cautiously optimistic. Man, Torio is the big bro. Duke is the adopted kid, and then uh, NC State is the um, super so, so little bro. I hope so, brother. I hope so, Hampton. I hope. I hope in about maybe five, ten minutes, man. You got a whole bunch of people stinking. Shh. That's what we need. One of the keys, man, silence them early, bro. Run the football, get a three and out. Run the football, get a three and out. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and score right here, baby. Let's go. Let's go. It's robbery, Reed. It's the Super Bowl right here. Let's go, baby. Huh? 
Let's go Tar Heels! Let's go Tar Heels! It's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Hopefully this doesn't become a flag fest. All right, here we go, baby. Let's go, Draco. <clears throat> he's not. He's not gonna do it, Hampton. Don't even pay him any attention. He's an LSU fan anyway. Get him, son. Nope. That's all right. That's all right, bro. What's going on, Coleman? That's all right, man. It's okay. Tez, Tez might add a step, man. They might come back to that one later. They might come back to that one later, boys. <clears throat> what? What? Come on, baby. Pun deep. Come on, Tom. Ooh, watch out for that 88, bro. Get him. To the side. All right, sorry. Right. Here we go, man. Put the defense on there, bro. Hey, what's going on, Hill, bro? <clears throat> we know, big dog. Everybody in here knows, brother. Everybody in here knows, man. All right, hey. Hill's got to turn up right here, bro. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what we need to see on this possession. They gotta respond. They gotta respond. Don't let Brennan run around. Gotta contain him. Come on, Heels. Go, Heels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get him. Get him. Yes, sir. Let him go. Let him go. Lost the one. Oh, my goodness. What in the world, bro? That's a stinking terrible flag already, dude. Already, it's become a stinking. How in the world is that a late hit? Oh my goodness, that's an that is an absolutely unbelievable call, bro. That is unbelievable, man. That is unbelievable, dude. Let the boys play some football. How is that a how is that an unnecessary roughness, man? Just because they're over there on, on the cheerleader side doesn't mean that it's oh my goodness. Already got a holding call, and now we got a personal foul. Dude, that's ridiculous, man. Helping him out, bro. Here we go. Go get him, Des. Wide open. It's a broken coverage, man. It's DJ Jones. Oh, my goodness, bro. And once again, all freaking helped out by and just atrocious, unnecessary roughness. Dude, that's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous, man. We have gotten we have gotten just killed by the referees in football and basketball this past week, man. Week or two. It's just been unbelievable, bro. Yeah, I don't know what DJ Jones was doing, Carlton. I have no idea, man. That's a broken coverage. It looked like he thought a safety was supposed to be over his head. So he kind of went out into the flat. He goes out into the flat and thinks that somebody's over the top. And that's why he kind of turned around and was looking around. What? Huh? Don't worry about him, man. 
Don't worry about it. Man. Come on, baby. I don't hold you to a field goal attempt, man. Let's go. There we go. There we go. I like it. I like it. Third and three. Third and third and three and a half. Big third down right here, man. Big third down right here, baby. Yeah, Elijah being out is, uh, that's pretty big, dude. Come on, go get him. Ah, there's the, there it is. Stick up, yes, sir. Let's go. Hey, easy. Pretty throw another flag on us. Let's go, bro. Good stop. That's a big stop, guys. Big stop. <laughs> yep, wait up. Hey, let's go, man. Hey, right here. Safe, safe, safe. Safe. Hey, we'll take it. That's a good victory, bro. That's a good victory. That's all right. NC State was assisted with the stake and ridiculous personal foul call. We had the one big play, but other than that, defense kind of looked okay. All right, so we can take it. 3 nothing, bro. Easy money. We'll give up field, goal, field goals all day. Give up field goals all day. Huge stop. Huge stop. But they got to move the football, man. We got to come out here and move the football. We got to move the football on this drive, man. Get in here, little Russ. Hold it down. What I feel in my heart during the Super Bowl show, it's just so Hello. We believe in love, not just our customers, but You just looking. He's just looking at the camera. Yeah, Huzzy not being in is a big loss, dude. And Concepcion, that's the guy they got to cover. That's going to be the guy they got to cover, man. It's one of those things where you cover Concepcion and you make him stink and make a play somewhere else. And anytime Concepcion, anytime KC, we'll call him KC, it's easier to say. Anytime KC is matched up against DJ Jones, that's a mismatch. Hello. So we got to find a way, bro. Got to find a way to stink and not, not let DJ match up on him. Yeah, did you talk to Mr. Carlton? Yes. You got a, you had a good holiday. Good Thanksgiving. <laughs> you didn't make the ham. You are a ham. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you said you tell Big Dog, hey. Hello. All right, man. Here we go, bro. Here we go. Let's get it. ACC Network College Football Prime Time is brought to you by Ally. Whatever you're saving for, you're all better off with an ally. Yeah, he ain't going to stay in here, Carlton. There's no way he stays in here, brother. Who? Remesis. <laughs> Yeah, Am I really? That's that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know how that how that's the case either, brother. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I don't know. That that never happens, Carlton. Usually I'm like way behind you guys. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's bringing it out. Let's go, Zero. That's all right. That's all right. I know, man. I saw that. Georgia Tech scored on him, bro. You asked to show us the Oh, there it is. Ramesses. What's your buddy? What's your big dog? There he is. Oh, ears himself. <laughs> Let's go, 28! Let's go, baby! All day, son! First down, Tom! Yeah! Eels! Let's go, baby! Feed him! Feed O'Marion! They can't tackle him! They don't want to tackle him! Scared! Oh! Keep pushing the pot. That's all right, baby. <clears throat> Let's go, man. Too, especially with how much pressure State is getting. Come on, Draco! Let's go, Dre! Let's go, Heels! Get a big. Oh my goodness, of course! Well, some sort of miscommunication with Corey Gator, it looked like. Now we have a fly. Well, Drake was auto blowing, and what happened when, when he checked? Tony Gibson's defense is winning a check. Prior to the snap, both started. Hey, we'll take it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> hey, we'll. We'll take the five-yard penalty in that case, bro. That actually kind of ended up freaking helping us, dude. Yeah, that is good. At least we'll get a shot. Thanks, Nesbitt. Come on, baby. I think, hey, this one I'm I think we should go deep. That's a needless fumble, man. Yeah. I agree, big dog. That's needless, bro. And it was a really good run. Let's go, Drake. Yeah, they're having some. You can tell he's having some trouble on the stick and grass. Hey, defense has got a stinking stand tall, bro. I, hey, 68 wins to 38 wins and six ties is not owning anybody, buddy. You could be this for 30 straight years and you'd still be little, bro. Go get him! Let's go. That's a terrible stinking angle. Power just took a terrible angle to him and we got bailed out right there. Course, so lucky that he, like, went out Second and nine, man. Let's go, baby. Yeah, yeah. That's a terrible angle, bro. Let's go, 
Stick them. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. I like the run defense so far, bro. I like the run defense up the middle so far. Third and medium. Third and medium. There you go, stick. I like it, stick. Get in there, one. Look at one. Somebody come up there and stink and lay some wood, man. Have a little bit of stinking pride. Let's go. Let's go. Third set. Watch five, bro. Watch five. Oh, wide open. Dude, they're slipping. That's DJ Jones again, man. That's DJ Jones again, bro. They are targeting him right now. Watch DJ slip on the cut. They're having trouble on this grass, dude. Good night. Maybe it's because the stadium's like way too fat for the field. Yeah, Carolina's slipping and sliding all over the place, bro. They they found the weak spot, man. DJ is getting uh he's getting picked on right now. Get him. Ah, there he Good night. How can they not stop it? Maybe they're getting him on the top. We need a uh, we need a stinking momentum changer, guys. Who said it earlier? Was it Carlton? Looks like Carolina's is going through the motions. Yep. That's that's kind of kind of what it's looking like right now, brother. Stick them! Yeah! Go, I like all the white shirts there. Let's go, bro. Well, it's the first guy in the white jersey. Let's go, man. They've been running the football a lot. Come on, gotta stand tall, baby. Gotta stand tall. Come on, Sam. Talk him up, baby. Get lined up. Oh. Ten. Ten out wide. Wide open! Oh my goodness, bro. Who was that? Good night, bro. Where in the world are all these broken coverages happening at, dude? Yikes! Man, bro, we are getting stinking exposed in the secondary right now. Sheesh. That's a huge break, man. If we can hold them to three right here. Get him! Get him! Hold him! Hold him! Get him! It's going to be a flag. It's holding. It's holding. It's coming back. It's coming back. Hey, flash the lights all you want, buddy. It's coming back. All stinking day, bro. He about tackled Dez. Yeah. Stinking Dez is trying to reach out to him, and he's stinking hold. Look at him, bro. He's got a jersey and everything. At least they got one good call, man. Good night. That one was pretty blatant. And look at the. That's just. That's so terrible. That's all such terrible, terrible pursuit to the quarterback, man. That was all three of them. Like, they, they, they. Come on, baby. Hold on. Field stop. goal, bro. Let's go. False start. False start.
False start. Let's go. You can't do that. You can't do that. Let's go, bro. They better not stinking. They better not let anything be. Nothing over your stinking head, guys. It's third and forever, bro. Yeah! Oh! Man, bro! That's all right. That's a good stinking hold, baby. That's a good hold. We're trying to set up the screen and they read it. That's a good hold, man. I like it. I like it. That's big. That's now they need to go back in there and they need to get in Drake's ear. Hey, bro. Come on, big dog. This is a weird thing. <laughs> hey. We'll give up field goals all day, bro. What's going on, Alex? Not Born in Chapel down. Hill, bro. My not, man. Not yeah, six nothing, six nothing, bro. It's only the first quarter. And you know what? As bad as everything has gone thus far, they had some good defense. we'll take it. They had some good defense. We'll take it, bro. Good defense is good. That was a big stand right there, man. That was a big stand. Now we just got to find out how in the world to get this thing in offense going, bro. Because it has not been good thus far. And like I said, man, like, got to get O going, bro. <clears throat> got to stink and get O going. Yeah, I appreciate you hanging out, Alex. I appreciate you hanging out, bro. I sure hope we can go down the field and get some points right here because the offense is uh it's uh it's not looking stellar thus far, if you will. Go date? Who's date? <laughs> oh for one today? Yeah, I hear you, bro. Well hopefully we can get you to five hundred, brother. Hopefully we can get you to 500. <laughs> but uh, some things are going to have to change on the offensive end. And that that missed touchdown catch is huge, bro. Oh, Charlotte's awesome, dude. Good for you, man. Good for you. I'll be back in the promised land one day. One day. Just not today. <clears throat> what y'all think, man? <clears throat> what y'all think? I, I'm kind of like I'm kind of like Carlton, man. The offense looks like it's just kind of going through the motions right now. Look at this guy. I love him to death. He looks like a wolf. I love MJ. Well, that was Carter Finley doesn't seat 70,000, so. A bunch of these guys on the Wolf Pack team, they look like actual Wolves. Yeah, I mean, maybe the fans, Carlton, but good night, bro. I mean, the football team shouldn't be doing that. You're on the football team. You know, this is it. Woo! This is the creme de la creme right here, bro. So I can understand and I don't agree with it, but... You want Vince Young as the stinking OC? I don't mind Chip Lindsey, bro. <clears throat> you know, does he have his faults? Yeah, but I don't I don't think that's the weak point, man. If Carolina could could put together a decent defense, we'd be much better. Just like I was that 17-year-old, and now you're seeing that 23-year-old man.
Oh. Let's go. Holding. Hey, Dead. Hey, Tez is like, hey, bro. You can't hold me, dog. You can't hold me. Oh, what? All day. That was not pass interference. It was Pat. He was holding him. He was like in his jersey the whole time. I did not see any pass interference. That's pass interference right there. The ball is coming. He impeded his route. Like, you can't make like, contact just, past five just yards. One, just one. Let's see. Look. That's when he let go. Okay, that's pass interference. Huh? <laughs> that's going to be a block in the back. Yeah, I take a complete pass. That's going to be either a hold or a block in the back. Five yard penalty, man. Take it on the head. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, the offense has got to play better. I mean, the defense has held them to, to two field goals. You know? First and 15. <clears throat> So the defense has done what they needed to do. We got to think of put some points on the board, man. Keep the defense off the field. They got four in the box. Five. There we go. Go! Got to get downhill, bro. I don't mind the play call, though. I don't mind a play call, man. Five in the box, we, you know, we got to be able to get some offensive linemen downfield and block on some linebackers. Go, go. He's behind, man. He's behind. Got to get the ball out, bro. I don't like this. It's third and 11. Right here, he's open right there, bro. <clears throat> he, I mean, he falls down, but the ball's got to be there sooner anyway. Yeah. Keep slipping, big dog. It's bad, man. It's bad. <clears throat> Hopefully going into halftime or on the next the next time the offense is on the field or something, bro, they can get some some longer uh, studs in or something because they're they're all over the place right now. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. That's third down. It's fourth down now, so. I know, but that, like, they... That's not good. Yeah, you gotta put the ball away. That's not... That's pretty close to the, the first down. It's fourth and five, son. Oh. Three times in a row. Against a very good defense. Makes it a nearly impossible pass. Three times in a row. Gotta put him deep, man. What do you do? Like, what do you do? Like. Because I'm under the impression we're still not running the stinking ball enough. They don't even have a true, um... North Carolina has national privacy. They don't have anything. They, they just have to have something. We're not running the ball enough, man. Like, how many times in a row are we going to do this with zero success and go away from giving a, you know, getting a, a steady dose of O'Mary and Hampton? Right now, Drake is 0 for 3, so he hasn't completed a pass yet. O'Mara and Hampton's got four carries for 23 yards. So, so I want you to think about that. Right there, that's an issue. Right there, that is a stinking issue. O'Mara and Hampton, three possessions. Three possessions. He's got four carries. It's not going to do it, man. I mean, one of the ways we protect them or protect the offense is to run Snake and O'Mary and Hampton. What's up, Matthew? 
Yeah, I, I agree. But I mean, understanding that it's an issue, you know, and, and you see state, sometimes they got four or five in the box. And you got to be able to run football against that, man. I mean, we do. Yeah, you got British Brooks, Caleb Hood, but, you know, when you've only gotten four carries and we're four minutes left in the first, you know, it's not like he's getting taxed. Yeah, this is this is one of those, you know, where, where I feel like Chip, it's like, what are you doing, man? What are we doing? Why are we not stinking running the football? Yeah, that's the frustrating thing, bro. Yeah, Hampton's not the issue. It's the lack of touches for Hampton that is the issue. That's what I said in the pre, like, bro, you gotta run the football. Raleigh is going to be hostile. You got to protect your defense. Your best, most consistent option has been your, your offensive line has a tough time pass protecting, but they do a decent job run blocking. And you have the nation's leader in rushing in the backfield. Why you only get four carries in the rivalry game? Carolina's been impacted more by this than the Wolfpack game. This is the quarterback draw. He slipped. Did and then he fumbled and then Tez was running a comeback. He slipped and fell. We've seen defenders slip and fall. Ah, come on, baby. Drake, man, you gotta stink and talk him up. Let's go, bro. I need some leadership, man. Let's go, stick! Yeah, baby! Oh, that was uh that was Campbell, bro. You see Campbell coming and fill that hole? Hell yeah! I like that feel, man. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go. Hey! Hey! Ah, he's outside. There's DJ again. You knew they were gonna do that. Set the edge, bro. You DJ is getting exposed. They, they knew that he was gonna do that. They knew that he was gonna do that. They didn't know he was gonna bounce outside, so. I hear you, Alex. That's a that's a tough life to live, bro. Let's go Hills! Woo! Get him, Seth! Oh my goodness! Man, we've got to make those tackles. The hell of a power rush, bro. We got to finish, man. Ugh. Dang it. They could have gone all the way back. Like, at least 10 yards. Oh, my goodness. Good seal, bro. Hey, third and one. I don't know why he let up right there. Big third down right here, man. Let's go, Big Hills. third down oh. right here, bro. Seconds to go. It's always interesting. How did the referee fall? Who's he going to make like the guy he had in Virginia? 
Comes to NC State. Well, who's he going to make like a How did they get to Keeps on top, so the Phillies can't protect him. Well, it takes about half the year when he settles in. You've got a converted linebacker, Jordan Blue, playing right there, now. There, he he sets one touch ball every imaginable way. There's only one minute left in the first quarter. Playing like John Mack. Go get him. get him. Oh my goodness. Another really bad angle, bro. And that one was said, man. Said he usually Ah, he brought you to the play. What a terrible angle. Good night, man. At least stick got him. I don't know why we keep attack attacking the 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 rear of the defender as opposed to where they're going. Oh, bro. Oh, oh my goodness. Good job. I thought he was about to stick it, turn it back to the other side, bro. Oh. Bo came in right there, dude. I mean, he just got him. Oh, my goodness. Bro. Oh, my goodness, bro. Let's look at these thing in first half stats, man. This is going to blow our minds. Watch. Drinkley has zero yards passing. 24 yards rushing. O'Marion Hampton's got 23 yards rushing. We've got 47 yards rushing right now. And obviously Drake has got that uh that turnover. Where he's just got to get down and we got to pump the wall away. Carolina's got the turnover, 47 yards of total offense on the ground. State's got 104 yards of total offense, seven first downs to our two, and they've held the ball for 11 minutes. The time of possession right now is 11 to 4. Oh my goodness, boys. Completely agree, Carlton. Completely agree, brother. I mean, it, it, it all starts with, you know, and I'm not talking about like on obvious rundowns, but we got to run the football, man. We have got to stink and establish the run. That's, that's uh, I mean, you know, O's on pace for 16. He's on pace for 16 carries. I'm saying he's got to get 40, 45 touches, man. And I'll be making fun of my Panthers now. Just because they made a terrible decision in the draft. <laughs> He doesn't have anybody around him either, bro. So it's half price and half, you know, that front office. Whatever it is, he's, he's, uh, he hasn't got it right yet. Oh! Got to establish the run, boys. First, we got to get off the stinking field. Second and long. So first, we got to get off the stinking field. Been a lot of close football games, man. Washington beat Washington State by three. Florida, I think, is beating Florida State right now. Yeah. Georgia. Everybody's slipping, bro. And um. Who is it? Um, Georgia Tech is beating Georgia. Did you just say that? Huh? Did you just say Georgia Tech is beating Georgia? Georgia? No, Georgia's beating Georgia Tech right now. So Florida's beating Florida State 12-7 at the half. And NC State has two field goals for Garrison on two red zone trips. 
see the combined penalties. Drake May is careless in three pass attempts and a fumble, and Carolina's got the fewest yards in a quarter since the Deuce Mayo Bowl a couple of years ago in Charlotte. Only three Southern Miss lines on 10 plays for the Tar Heels. But State's got them all to start quarter two. Come on, man. Second and long. Go Heels! We'll take it. That's all right. Still third and long. <clears throat> I think it's two down territory. Oops, son. Third and ten, bro. Let's go, man. Oh! Good night. Tayon is right there. I mean, he's a little... Yeah, bro, that's just a good throw, man. He put it on the spot right out of his cut. Outside. They sealed it. There's DJ Jones. Bro, they got all kinds of... All kinds of, like, gadget plays going, bro. What's up, Blue? Yeah, go Hills, bro. They're going to need all kinds of stake and help, man. Because the offense looks like it's going through the motions. And... Yeah, I would have liked to see him stick. Stick, stick, and lay out for that or something, man. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't stick and know, man. I'm, uh, I'm kind of of the... Um, you know what Carlton said, man. I just don't understand how... How... Heel of a guy, being out physical, bro. Being out physical and outplayed, outcoached. Yeah, you you may be onto something, Carlton. Yes. Because I swear it does seem like every year, bro. Every year, you know, Carolina just doesn't have I don't know why either, man. Like they just don't have the same intensity. Like, NC State, you can tell. Their whole mission is to beat the Heels. 
worst play of the game. Carolina's just kind of like, ah, it's another game. It's because Carolina looks at them like little bro. But this is uh, this is atrocious, man. You know what? Matthew Trexler, I think, put it on the nail. As much as I love Mac, he's not a stinking rah-rah guy, bro. He just he can't get his guys fired up. They play flat a lot. They play flat a lot, man. They just going through the motions type stuff. Going through the motions type stuff, man. And then when you compound that with, you know, NC State, they want this game. And then for some reason, you know, the heels are just like, it's another football game. It's, uh, it's getting disgusting, dude. You might, you know, we might need one heel of a guy, bro. We might need one, dude. And, and, and like Carlton, hey, Carlton put it on the spot, man. You said it. You know, and I've heard it from Carolina fans when I'm, you know, when they're like, oh, we couldn't take anybody like Dabo Swinney. Why? I couldn't have some man child like that running my football park. So you, you don't want to win. That's what you're saying. You want, you want a politician. I got it. You want a politician. You want somebody to make you feel good inside as opposed to somebody that stinking wants to win football games and they're rough around the edges. And I love Mac, man. He's great. But he just, he doesn't, you can see it on the field. He doesn't motivate the guys. Yeah, there you go, Matt. There you go, brother. Oh, you should have ran. It's a big possession right here, man. Big possession. Let's see if they run the football. Oh, I wanted Butch to stay bad too, bro. I hated that we got rid of him. Yeah, I was real mad when Butch got let go. Let's go, Hills! They almost got drank. I don't even know what that was for, man. That's his first completion of the game, by the way. He's one for four with three yards. Let's go, Hills! Woo! Come on, man. False start. Good job. Come on, man. We need something positive, bro. Let's go, Eels. Woo! Again. We're just gonna... Bro, this is... This is looking terrible, man. We're gonna put it away again. We might put it away again. We won't give it to him. This is looking like really bad, guys. Hey, Carlton, I completely agree too. John Bunting was invested. I mean, he cared. He cared, man. I don't know, big dog. It down the field, over the head of Walker and complete. Punting it away, man. Again. Five in a row, right? Well, five in a row. And once again, we did not run the football. Four five in a row, right? 
It's crazy, man. It is absolutely... I am flabbergasted right now. I am flabbergasted right now. The nation's leading rusher has four carries. Your quarterback is one for six for three yards. And your defense is getting exposed in the secondary right now. Hey, if we want to be realistic... State should be up, was it third? They should be up 17 to nothing because they missed that touchdown in the back of the end zone, bro. Bro, Robert, it looks like we didn't stink in practice this week. Oh, this stuff so good. You did tell me, Carlton. You warned me, brother. You warned me, man, and I, I didn't want to believe it. You know, maybe that's why I haven't been sleeping well this week. I don't stink and know, but... This is unbelievable, man. This year, Black Friday is live at Target. I mean, but there's everything to play for. You've been beaten by NC State two years in a row. Two. Two years in a row, bro. And you got these guys running their stinking mouth. I mean, I don't I just don't understand how you can just show up. And it really looks like we're stinking going through the motions. State's playing hard, man. State is playing hard. They want it. But for the life of me, the biggest thing is I I don't know why in the world we're not running the football, man. They got this stinking 18-year-old kid, bro, looking ridiculous against us, man. And you got a safety on him. He's their best receiver. He's got three receptions, 77 yards, and a touch. With five rushes for 19 yards. You can't put a safety over their best guy. I sure am glad we ain't down by 28, but it looks like we're about to be down by 20, bro. Unbelievable! I'm just hoping at this point we can keep it within striking distance so that maybe there's one guy that can fire these guys up, bro. Yeah, Daniel, this is ridiculous, man. I'll 
telling you right now, bro, if they keep this up in this game, everybody's got to go. Everybody's got to stick and go, dude. I want I want them to clear out the Keenan Football Center. Everybody. Everybody, bro. Enough is a stink enough. This, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. No pride, no passion, getting your ass handed to you, no physicality. This is unacceptable. In this football game, this is unacceptable. What, Carlton? Please. What What else can I look forward to? Because I'm not even looking forward to the next 10 minutes of this game. This crap is giving me a stinking headache. Well, we're going to lose a lot of guys, obviously. Yeah, and that's the thing, too, man. Is what? I guess one of the things that I'm really worried about. Yeah, as we lose guys, yeah, I know, man. And that's one of the things that I'm, you know, if I understand that when we change coaching staffs, especially, you know, there is going to be a down year or two, you know, at least. I mean, but good night, man. I just remember 2019, I felt like we were more excited, you know, when we went 7-6 and six and won the bowl game. Like, where is that at? Where is that at, bro? Yeah, I mean, and Hampton being underutilized, man, I, I mean, he ain't going nowhere, dude, because he's from North Carolina. He wants to play for the Heels, but... It's a Mitch match, man. You got their best. You got their best receiver matched up on DJ Jones, who's replacing somebody. And you see constantly he's got a safety or the nickel on him, man. I'm getting my best cover guy, bro, on his hip. You got to. Why is NC State featuring their best player, but we're not featuring our best player? Touchdown. Brennan's being a little scary in this game, man. Big third down, man. Let's go, Hills. Sorry guys, I'm speechless, man. Flabbergasted. 
Look at this, bro. They got four out. They're featuring their guy. They got everything stinking going through KC. But our nation leading rusher has four flipping carries. Absolutely outcoached. And look how wide open 10 is, bro. <laughs> how? How do you lose KC? Sick. Disappointing. It's absolutely disgusting, man. Let's I wish I was as numb as you, Carlton. I guess I'm sick to my stomach right now. Like, my head is pounding, and I feel nauseous. Time of possession right now is 15 to 5. Bro, we're getting stinking. I don't know, bro. I'm I'm at a loss. I really don't know. Freaking no, bro. 
possession for Carolina. Here's Boyd at the 46. And Chapman tracks it down. Nice play by the young freshman. That brings us to the ninth edition of Food Lions. Food for fun. Any video games that I can stream? Nah, man. You, I don't even have time to play video games right now, Carlson. My kids play all the video games, brother. I am literally, bro, I'm about to go get a bucket, dude. Because I'm so stinking this I'm, I feel nauseous. <laughs> We are literally, literally learn a game. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be more exciting than this. We are literally being outclassed, outcoached, outplayed, outcared. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, the fact that. The fact that these kids can't get up for this game, bro, that is a cold. You're looking at, here, I'm going to put it to you this way. Carlton's been talking about this. You are looking at the difference between two cultures. Right here. We'll get into that in a second, Carlton. We're looking at the difference of two different cultures right now. You got a culture that cares, that wants to play hard, that wants to play for pride and respect. And even though they're the little guy, you know, at least, at least, at least they're a little guy with the little man syndrome kind of thing, you know? As opposed to yeah, because that's what it is. It's it's two different things, right? You have you have NC State, who is the little guy, but they have a little guy complex. They're in the gym. They're big, you know. They they want to play. They want to be hard. They want to be tough. And then you have Carolina, which is the big dude, and they're soft. They're real big, but they're stinking soft, bro. Watch four. Watch seven. Four. I told you, watch four. And if the stinking big dude would just man up a little bit, he'd be an unstoppable stinking force. And the little guy with the with the big man syndrome, or the little man syndrome, you know, he's got a ceiling that he will never be able, you know, to, to punch through. But we're looking at a difference in cultures, bro. Lewis is going to have to, bro. If it continues like this, if this crack continues like this, bro, good play, Chapman. I mean, you almost got to hold him to a stinking field goal right here. That's, I think that's the biggest thing, big dog. No, bro. Armstrong's not an NFL quarterback, man. He's a good college quarterback. He's killed Carolina every year. But I don't think his game translates to the next level, dude. My personal perception. What? Get on. Get on. Well, at least we forced a stinking. Yeah, 2021, bro. Yeah, 2021, he played well. But I still thought he was more of like a running quarterback than a, than a pure passer. I bet you they're going to go for it. Now they'll take the points. Which means technically it's still a three possession game. Armstrong make a good decision. Understanding the situation. Unbelievable. Yeah, 500 of that was against Carolina. <laughs> it's culture. Culture and coaching, bro. 
And then you go into Raleigh, man, and you guys just kind of like go through the motions. I get what you're saying, YouTuber, but you know, if a lot of your if a lot of your uh, your passes are coming on like wide open deep threats, bro, where they're getting a lot of stinking. See, a lot of his guys are getting yak too. I don't know. I mean, you you're entitled to your own stinking opinion. You know, I just don't think his throw in motion and his arm strength are compatible with the next level. He reminds me of a little bit like a Tim Tebow type. I don't think it works at the next level, bro. That's just my. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then we're on the same page, bro. Yeah, we're on the same page then. And it's ridiculous. Carlton, I don't understand it. I, I just don't understand it, bro. How can you not be up for this game? They're doing whatever they want, bro. Running, passing. We do make every, every, hey, listen, if you're trying to look at somebody and see whether they're, uh, there's somebody that you should draft, you don't turn on the Carolina game. You don't go grab that tape because obviously they stink and they were ridiculous in the Carolina game. <laughs> And you know what, Travis? I, I, I started noticing that probably a couple of games ago, man. Watching him on the sideline. I don't see him talking to anybody. He just kind of like comes off the field. Um, I think that's a really astute observation. He looks disinterested. Like, you know, he's moved on. And I'll tell you what, bro. You know, if you don't think the NFL teams are going to pull up, pull this crap off the shelf. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think a lot of it's on Drake. Man. Drake is uh, he hasn't he hasn't been on point today at all. Even the one that Tez on the last stick and play, man. I, I mean that it, it was like they were, either Tez didn't run through his route because he was trying to find grass. Or Drake just, you know, he didn't stink and hit him in the hole where he was supposed to be kind of laying down. Let's go, Hills! Woo! You might be right, Hill. I mean, the past four or five stinking weeks, bro. Yes! Big down. Woo! First down, Tar! Let's go, bro. I have not seen that in a long time. Need seven right here, bro. Need seven right here. I have not seen first down in a long time. There you go, JJ. Somebody Woo! wants it. Somebody wants it. Come on, Myrtle Beach. Let's go, son. Let's go, Drake. Down. There we go, baby. First down, tall. Yeah. Let's go, bro. Need points, man. Need points right here. I like the tempo, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Approach me. Let's go, bro. Let's go. 
First and five. First and five. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go, Hills. Woo. 28 right here. Get it out, Drake. Let's go, man. Let's go. Tempo. Tempo. Woo. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, let's get a three and out right here. Let's get a three and out right here, bro. And go get seven more before the half because State gets the ball after the break. I think they're a little bit more high. They better be, man. Let's go. All right. Woo! At least I'm right. Woo! There we go, man. Let's go, dude. Let's stick and go. That's a tough throw, bro. Out to the left. Yeah, that's the tempo was good in the sense that we scored. But well, like you said, the defense has been out there a ton, man. They're going to get exhausted like the Clemson game. They might. Woo! Let's go, Hills! Woo! Three for 55 and a touchdown. You don't like the heel here, man? I don't like the heel here. Heel, yeah! I hope so. I hope so, Hill. Don't speak too soon, bro. We got to play some defense. We got to go down there and stop him, man. <laughs> hey, Larry gave us the best season we've had in a long time, man. Bottom fell out in the end, bro, but 2015 was fun until the stinking bowl game. That was... That was just ridiculous. What was the bowl game? When they got spoke by Baylor, and Baylor was like, well, yeah, play smart, fast, physical. Baylor they didn't do that in the bowl game against Baylor. <laughs> Come on, defense, man. Let's go, baby. Y'all get go, a break in just a second. Woo! Just a him. second, man. Get him! Come on, man. Let's go, bro. State looks like they kind of want to walk it into the stinking half. Taking their time. Yeah, that one was real bad, bro. Get off. Get in there, Dennis! Ah! Oh! Just turn around! I think that's a catch, guys. Why didn't he turn around? That's a catch, bro. That's a catch. That's a hell of a catch, too. I don't know why he didn't. And all this has got to do is stink and turn around. Talk about a terrible break, dude. That's a catch, man. Can you see the turf coming up, bro? Yep. 
Yep, that's a good thing. I don't know why they didn't the just turn it around. You gotta give it to the kid. It's a heck of a catch. Why did he just turn around? Touching Armstrong. I don't know. What is he? What was he doing? What are you in the screen? You think so, Matt? I really hope they just say the call stands on the field. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for, bro. Oh my goodness. Well, Stans is called on the field. Kentucky and Louisville? Louisville's I think that's actually, I think that's a good call, man. Turn around. Oh, why did he look? Oh, my goodness. Now they have a first down. Yeah, Josh, she ain't getting fired, brother. Man, we can't let him score, dude. We can't let him score, man. And they're walking it down the field right now, and they get the ball after the stinking half, too, dude. Did they get the toss? Did they get the toss? Did they, did they, did they win the toss? Yeah, Carolina got the ball first, and we get the ball at halftime. <sighs> no, I hear you, Josh. I hear you, bro. Free five. Carolina defense, home of the free five. Unstinking believable, man. Unbelievable. Spank, guys. I'm getting there right with you, Jason. I've been, uh, I've been, I'm going to be honest, man. I've been one of Max. Well, hey, give him a little bit more time. He's going to figure it out. I'm telling you, after that 6 0 start, you can play it back, man. I said over and over, I got faith in Mac. And, uh, he has let me down, man. Oh, he almost fumbled it. That could have been huge. Oh. Man, that could have been a big game changer, bro. Oh. So close. Can we get a break? Man, Virginia got 73 points against Louisville. Almost you. Man. That's a close game. That's a close game. Third and one, man. Come on, baby. Stop it. <laughs> He's just going to get 10. Now they're going to get 30. Oh, they might get 30 points in it. Um, Let's go. 
Yeah, they're all over the place, Travis. They're all over the freaking place, bro. Playing confused, man. Third down right here, guys. And of course he gets the stinking edge. Time out. Hey, Josh, if you're new here, the NC State guy, bro, he's not even really an NC State fan. So he's just on, he's like a troll, bro. Don't even pay him any attention. He's short, though. He's short. No timeouts. Hey, you guys remember how we couldn't, uh, you remember, you remember how we couldn't do that last week? We couldn't get the field goal tip, or not last week, against Campbell? NC State did it with like 10 seconds. I don't know, man. I mean, if we talk about Drake getting drafted, 
I mean, he hasn't really done anything for his stock lately. He has not done anything for his stock lately. Hey, listen to these halftime stats, guy. Listen to these thing at halftime stats, bro. Carolina has 123 yards of total offense. NC State has 327. 327 yards of total offense. They're on pace to get 650. Carolina's on pace to have 250. Carolina's got one turnover. They only have six first downs. 18 first downs for State. Look at this time of possession. 22 minutes and 6 seconds to 7.48. Un-freaking-believable. Absolutely unbelievable. And the leading rusher in the country has 6 carries for 26 yards. 4.3 yards a pop. Get out freaking class. Drake is 4 for 10 for 58 yards and a touchdown. And he has the fumble, man. Shoo! They've scored on every drive. Yeah, I, I'm not sold yet, real quick, big dog. But I, I tell you what, man. The the uh, the issue the issue is is that even right now, bro, he kind of looks just disinterested. You know. He literally looks disinterested. And that's probably the most frustrating thing about it is, you know, aside from that last drive, man, you know, it's, uh, you know, there's just not much, it's not much fire, bro. Not much fire. I just don't, if Mac leaves, if Mac leaves, then Drake leaves. And then you have a new coaching staff, because you got to think, Chip Lindsey came, Drake wanted Chip, so Chip Lindsey came. So, if Mac leaves, then Chip is leaving, Drake is leaving, obviously Ch uh, Chiz is leaving, so everybody's leaving. And, it, you know, it, it really may be, man, it, it really may be that we just need a complete overhaul. Yeah, Kelly, just, uh, it's been unbelievable. Just the lack of, uh, the lack of want. The lack of want. You know, what, what's insane about it is Carolina has the, the more talented team, but they don't play as hard. They're not as well coached. You know, NC State is a, they do more with less. You know, like eight and four or, or nine and three for State, that's about as good as they can hope for. You know, that's a real good year for NC State. And I mean, you could, you could say the same thing for Carolina, but Carolina recruits and they have what they need to be better. I mean, State is like topped out, dude. State is topped out. They're, they do everything, and you got to respect that because they maximize their potential. And what's frustrating as a Carolina fan is we never max out our potential. He never seems to show any passion, you know. He ain't he ain't over there rah rah people, man. Travis, it might end up being that way, bro. Yeah, Armstrong's killing us, dude. And a lot of it has to do with, for some reason, Gene Chizik has decided that. Our replacement nickel, who used to be a running back, needs to be lined up on stinking KC, which is y'all's really one 
threat. Just being, it's out coached, out hustled, you know, and state wants it more. That's what you saw in the first half. They actually care, and Carolina looks like they could give a crap less, man. Yeah, they should have ran the ball a lot more in the first half. The fact that O'Marion has six touches, man, you know, it's stinking. It's a, it's a, it's a calamity. And then the last possession, or not the one that they went tempo and scored, but the possession before that, you know, they tried to run them two times right up the middle. And now there's nothing. And that's with five and six guys in the box. That's what's even more frustrating. I think you alluded to something. To, yeah, I mean, outcoached, man. Outcoached. And Dave Dorn is a guy that's, he's one of the boys. You know, he's like, hey, let's get fired up. He's in there stinking, banging lockers and stuff. And Mac, is, Mac is more of the, you know... Come on, guys. He's like, he's like your grandpa at the game. Keep your head up, Johnny. Hey, you're doing great, son. You're right. Dave is a football coach, man. And uh, Mac is your grandfather who's up in the stands. Yep. Yeah, man, just uh, unstick unbelievable, man. I hope that somebody, I mean, there's got to be Cayman Rucker, bro. Cayman Rucker is your one guy that might talk a little bit. That he goes in there and he just rips everyone a freaking new one, dude. Said Gray, you know, who doesn't really strike me as necessarily... The guy that's going to go in there and start holding people accountable, per se. I think people listen to him. And he's kind of a more soft-spoken dude, it seems. Somebody's got to go up there and rally the troops, bro. And they got to stink and start with... They need to stink and hold. They can, State can't score in the, in, the, in the first possession, man. They cannot let them freaking score in the first possession coming out of the break. I think Cedric's done, Annie. But yeah, man, this is about as uh if I'm if I'm if I'm not lying to you, you know, in the back of my mind, this is what I was worried about. Just getting uh outclassed. Outclassed, man, by a team with the, that currently has a better football culture. Yeah, Sid's out of time. I think so. Nope. Completely agree, Kurt Merle. Yeah, Rucker's done. Sid's done. Oh, and that's that's why. I, and I'm telling you right now, man. Hey, if Carolina finishes his game like this, let's say they get blown out by NC State, you can best believe that they're not going to give a rip about the bowl game. You can't get fired up for this game. You can't come out here and start, you know, swinging in this game. You're not going to care when you're at the stinking Duke's Mayo Bowl in Charlotte. Yeah, I would say that I would say that if this is what we're getting if this is what we're getting, then he, then he definitely. I would, I would rather him not play. I'd rather him not play, man. I'm gonna get a drink real quick, guys. Hold it down, little Russ. Sir, sir.
my goodness, man. What you doing, boy? Come here. Come here, come get daddy some love. What's up, Massey? What's up, Ramesses? What's up, boy? Huh? Yeah. We ain't playing well right now, dude. I need you to go in there and motivate a mass. I need you to go in there and motivate him, buddy. Yeah, my boy. I tell you what. What is better? What is better than a dog? A <laughs> dog. What is better than a good dog, man? That guy right there, he is always, I appreciate you, Carlton. That guy right there is always ecstatic when I stink and get home. He is never upset to see me. He's a dog. He's not a cat. So like, of course. <clears throat> Definitely need him. I mean, he's got to get his touches, man. He's got to get his touches. He needs, he's got six right now. So, if he's going to get 40, and now they're down by 19. He's Googling schools. Yeah, I hate to I hate to hear that, Matthew, man. I mean, at least the boys were excited for the state game, right? I mean, good night. That that and that was in a that was in a time where you know Carolina was on the cusp of doing something special, man, especially 2010. If if the investigations don't happen, I'm telling you, man, 2010 was gonna be a, a pretty special year. Max got to go, Fury. I tell you what, they keep playing like this. You know, it's one thing to lose in Raleigh, you know, by a score, even two scores. But to get outclassed, outcoached, outhustled in this game, eventually, bro, people got to say enough is enough, man. Oh, that's pretty cool, Matt. That's pretty cool, brother. That's pretty cool, man. Dang. Yep. All the time, Fury. Is this honestly? All the time. And they tricked us. I they tricked like, us in the first six, man. I feel like this is like the longest halftime. Your boy was duped. They got me. I was bamboozled. Because I told everybody that this team is different. I'm telling you. Mac, I got faith in Mac. Brown. He's going to get him good, but he's going to get him squared away. Nope. <laughs> I didn't even see that, Sam. Was there 12 guys on the field, bro? Are you saying Carolina was running one off or State was?
Wow. Yeah, I didn't even see that, bro. I did not even catch that one. Yeah, I think Seb will get drafted. Um, I don't. I don't think he's a first round pick. Like they were saying that he might sneak into the first round. I don't see that. But I think he's a. I think he's a good football player. Yeah, I can see that Carlton. Third, fourth round pick. I mean, he did lead. The uh, ACC in tackles last year. He's an all-conference linebacker. So I, I don't foresee him not being drafted. Well, I can. I will definitely tell you this, Matthew, because I've seen. I've talked on the uh, the inside the inside Carolina message boards and. I have uh, kind of gotten into it with a couple of people about, you know, and they've specifically, they haven't referenced like, you know, being left or right or liberal or conservative or anything like that. But I can, I can sense that, you know, there's a certain left leaning, uh, the, the left leaning kind of fan base is like, you know, we need somebody, we don't want anybody that's uh, that's rough around the edges, you know. We need somebody that speaks well and, you know, he does the uh, the interviews well. And they want to, they want a spokesman, they want a politician, they want a CEO. You know, and they're more worried about that, you know, than, and they like, they like Grandpa. They like Grandpa. You know, they don't want to, they don't want a dog. You know, maybe somebody around the water cooler, they got to explain a couple things. Like, you know, when Larry Fedora made some comments and people got all staking, you know, they didn't like what he said. Whether it's right or wrong, I mean, good night, you know, but it made people uncomfortable. Fury, I would say that it's, you said our players look confused and unmotivated nearly every game. It's all on the coaches. It's not the players. I think it's a culmination of both, man. Is it, does it start with the coaches? Yes. But as a former high school football player, I'm telling you right now, I didn't need no coaches to hype me up. You know, we had each other. So yeah, did they play a, a, play a part? Sure. But we had each other to hype each other up. They have energy and motivation, yep. Yep, because it's a culture. It's the culture, Fury. What's up, Chevy? Hopefully, man, they need a three and out to start it, bro, or it's going to get ugly. Huh. Blue, hey, what's the score? It's not good, man. Maybe you don't want to know. You did, Carlton. You hit it on the nail, brother. Yep, Carlton, you called it, man. You hit it right on the nail, bro. You know, I just, maybe I'm just a little naive, man. And I just don't understand. That. Oh, they're calling it.
But isn't that, is that, not, is that, I guess it's, so they're going to redo the field goal, but wouldn't that be a 10 second runoff? But wouldn't that be a 10 second runoff though? Or is that just at the end of the game? Yeah, I agree, Carlton. I do agree with that. I do agree with that, man. Football and basketball needs to be king. You know. And we have so many, so many sports, more than a lot of colleges. KC's got six receptions for 86 yards and stinging two touchdowns. And he's been covered by a safety and a nickel the whole game. When are they going to put their best cover guy on him? Got to do something, bro. Bracket him. What is Armstrong doing? Sam, I'm trying not to say that just yet, bro. Somebody can get more out of this team, Fury. Somebody can get more out of this team. What is it? Oh, yeah, they get it. Here we go, man. We're about to find out, dude. Find out right here, bro. If we got any stinking men, where are the men? Yeah. You got some good leftovers, George. Good for you, son. Please. He's Tom Brady right now, brother. Tom freaking Brady. Come on, Heels. Get up. Let's go, man. Somebody get excited. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, 
Sheesh. I mean, that's our best cover guy right there, dude. Look at that. Nine-yard cushion off the jump. In the break, he slips, and he's got five yards to make up, dude. It just, I mean, you're giving them the sticks, man. Look at the, look at the defensive line, bro. Getting absolutely outclassed and destroyed, bro. That ain't embarrassed, that's what we're I mean, it's hard to say how good set is just because the defensive line is so bad. You just heard him say that this is not a very good offensive line. It's hard to tell about set because when the defensive line sucks and they don't get any stinking pressure, the offensive line is able to stink and move up to the second level. So then you got your stinking all ACC linebacker, you know, having to fend off offensive linemen. You know, some of those defensive, the defensive line, some of their biggest, what they do to contribute is they keep those guys off of the backers so that they can stink and, you know, make tackles. So if you get an offensive lineman up to the second level and they're all in said face, you know, he can't scrape. I mean, so it's, it's just really hard to say, man, because the defensive line sucks so bad. Yeah, they've been slipping all game, Sam. Oh, no, they're going to run it again. So, man, they set the edge. Look at that. Made them cut it back. I was just about to say, man, they're probably going to let them get outside. Force a field goal attempt, bro. Third and nine. Yeah, D line's bad, bro. Go, go. I mean, what do we do, big dog? What do we do, man? So bad. This is way worse than the Clemson game. Yeah, we were talking about like the the fight that they put up. They put up a little, you know, they tried, they put up some fight, man. Solitary. <laughs> yeah, we'll just turn it into a solitary stream, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. Every every game, bro. Every game. But we talked about how much want they had during Clemson. At least that's what I observed. I thought they played hard. They had their chances to win. They played hard, didn't get the job done. Bro, this is bad. Big, hey, big dog, this is bad. It's bad, bad. This is the type of thing where, you know, this is almost like a Roy Williams situation where Mac has to stink and look himself in the mirror and say, you know what? 
maybe I'm just not good for Carolina right now. You know, this, the, you know, this is the, this may be the stinking game, dude. Or even he has to admit, you know, like, I just don't got it no more. You are right, Carlton. You are right. You are absolutely right, brother. Hey, and when they come talking, it'll be fun. I'll just update, and I don't care. To me, it's good enough, man. I will update the score to 68 to 39. 68 to 39 and 6. I'll update it for them. Yeah, like you said, Sam. Like you said, no fight in a rivalry game. Out coached against your rival in the last game of the season. Might be Drake's last game as a stinking collegiate athlete. The nation's leading rusher has six carries. I mean, you have done absolutely nothing that you should have done in order to be competitive in this football game. You know what this is? This is the Virginia Tech game. Or Georgia Tech, whatever. NC State fans, I mean, they're showing it. Yeah, bro, go back over there, man. Ain't no reason to run your mouth, man. You're getting your ass handed to you. And it's very true, Carlton. Very true, bro. Very true. Last couple of years, bro, it's just... They have not come, to, come into this game with the same fire. They haven't matched their intensity. At least freaking JJ came to play. Oh, yeah. Go, Drake. Go. Oh, go, baby. Go. Coming back. Yeah, bro, that's big, oh man. Oh my goodness, I was like... <laughs> Half the distance to the goal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All in Spencer Rollins' stinking face. Good move right here. Boom. Good. Hey, that was nice by Drake right there, bro. I have no idea, Lewis. I really have... I'd be lying to you if I knew, dude. I have no idea who they would stink and go go and get, man. Call me a fool, but let's go here. You know, Woo. Elko is a great coach, but my hatred for Duke, man. We gotta be able to find somebody else that's that's a similar caliber that.
has no time for that university. Oh, let's go. I, I just don't know if I can, uh, I don't know if I can stomach that one, dude. That'd be like hiring Dave Dorn. <laughs> I don't think I can. I don't think I can do it. Get in there, Kurt! Yeah! Touchdown, Tom! Yeah! Hey. Hey, man. Trust me, I'm saying hire a winner. I don't think they should go for two. But I mean, is there not a better coach Whoa, out there? Go ahead. Is there no better coach out there than Mike Elko? Bro, it's 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 disgusting, Elijah. It's Let's disgusting, go man. It is disgusting. Drake looked frustrated right there, bro. He smoked, smoked the football after. What is this? Is that, I mean, is that really a stinking unsportsmanlike conduct? It ain't like he reared back and just threw it into the stinking ground, dude. That's kind of like the opening, the opening possession where they got the stinking personal foul call. It's just like, what? Let's go, heels. Woo! Yeah, I don't like that call, man. There have been a couple of... A couple of ridiculous, like the, the opening possession personal foul one was the one that set it off. There you go, Noah. Woo! Good job, Noah. What are we down, 19, three possessions? I guess so, Carlson. I just, I thought maybe he was behind the ref and that guy didn't stick and see. It is what it is, man. 33-14, still down three possessions. Let the comeback begin. <laughs> are you being, are, let me ask you this, Carlson. Is there, is this a, uh, is this being silly? Or, or we got like a uh, a sense of uh, believe right now. <laughs> starts with hey, might as well. You can't freaking stop him. Might as well start kicking it onside. The defense has already been out there, dude, for ever. I agree. I think it's time to start kicking onside kicks, bro. Down by three possessions and you can't stop them? Down by three possessions and you can't stink and stop them, dude. Oh, my goodness.
It's just the same as plugging the phone. It's the same as plugging in a phone. The bottom. I don't know if we'll catch them off guard. I bet you that's what, uh, I mean, we're, you got to remember, we're talking about, like, decent coaches. I got to make sure that my phone doesn't stink and die. Give me a second, guys. What, buddy? All right. Oh, what are you doing? talk about it here Carlton I hear you Robert it's frustrating bro it's frustrating man I'm here though I'm here for the fam wake me up next season hell if we got the same coaching staff Quan, it's, it's gonna be the same old same old bro Passer. Somebody tell me, is this rough in the passer? Bro! Review it! That's a, that is, how is that roughing the passer, dude? They just caught a rough in the passer. So that's going to negate the turnover anyway. It's just like, it was like the rough in the passer when uh, Giovanni Biggers got the stinking interception in the Clemson game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And Cedric, um, Cedric Gray tackled him. I mean, am I being biased? Am I being biased or is that a crappy rough in the passer call? He didn't drive him into the ground. He hit him in his follow through. Like, bro, I don't know. I mean, maybe they're looking at targeting. I, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to see if he was thinking using the crown of the helmet. But between the personal foul and the first that extended the drive, that that's thinking rough in the passer call. That's terrible, man. That's a terrible call. But I don't think 
they can review. I mean, they already called a rough in the passer. I don't think they can review that stinking penalty. Look at my back. Yeah, man, I just, that's such a bad call. Tell your, tell your stinking state fans that your, your state fan friends, you know, at least I appreciate their stinking honesty. I mean, you know, let's be honest, man. I'd say the same thing if that was, it'd be, if that was against Drake May. It'd be like, it's a bad call, man. Don't leave it in the hands of the officials. Absolutely, Carlton. Yeah, you gotta make his bed. Mom. Tuck Mom. him in. Dead. Dead. Three, two, one. Dead. Three, two, one. Oh. I see it, son. <laughs> yeah, that's a stinking tough call, bro. And and back to back weeks too. And yeah, I don't know if Ritzy, I don't know why he decides that, you know, you would think that you would have the football acumen. That the ball is right there on the sideline. Let's not slide into it to where part of my body is touching out of bounds while I'm grabbing the football. Right? You would say, hey, I need to grab this football and keep my body in bounds. That's a, I mean, and then, you know what? I mean, at the end of the day, it just compounds the fact that once again, KC is wide open and he's got DJ Jones on him. Why is our, why is our backup nickel who used to be a running back lined up on their best receiver? I mean, bro, like, what? I don't understand the stupidity, man. Now they're making them get more score, more points. There it is, no contain. Bro, that kid is lined up. In the backfield by himself and gets 10 yards. Guy's not making plays, man. I don't think it's the heel. I think it's just the referees. Look at this, bro. Look at this, man. The disrespect. They're going for two. Up 39 to 14. You know what that, that is? It's not a lack of class at all. That's a different culture. That's that's going for the stinking heart, bro. Yeah, Robert. I mean, at this pace, bro, they're going to stink and score 60 on us. And it's going to be a game they don't stop talking about for the next decade. Good job of 
And both, another another terrible thing, man, is that both times Carolina has scored, State's gone down and scored again. So, we, we're just, we're not making up any ground, though. Well, no, because, yeah, we kicked the extra point. So, we made up a point. 62 yards. We made up a point, bro. Just like like a high school football, <laughs> where the clock just continues to run. Something's got to change, heel. Something's got to change, bro. Yep, exactly, Kwan. It won't matter, bro, because the defense can't stop him. Broken. Starts with the staff, dude. I mean, it can't be explained any other way, bro. It starts with the staff. That's where the brokenness starts. That is where the brokenness starts. Down heels. Let's go. Come on, baby. Let's go. Tempo, man. That's what's been working this game. Nice play, Drake. Oh! Give him the sticks, bro. I don't know how in the world he got that to oh. And you know they're not going to show up for the ball game, Carlton. Uh oh, hopefully JJ's okay. I think he's just. I hurt his shoulder. Oh, man, that's not good. JJ's been the one guy that wants to catch the stick in football today. Oh, boys. It's third and ten. It's getting there, Rob. It's getting there, brother. Oh, he's going to get out again. JJ is thinking, holding that stinking shoulder bad, man. I bet you they're now going to run it at third and ten. I bet you. British Brooks. Bryson, first down heels, baby. Oh, that's just a misfire right there. Ah. Come on, British. There you go, baby. First down. Move it. 
Move the chains, man. Let's go. Got him. That's just off, bro. Come on, John. That's a heck of an attempt, bro. It's going to be a tough one for him to bring in, but that's a heck of an attempt. It looked like he caught it. Rob, we've been saying that for a minute, bro. Who knows if he just... I think it's got to come from the top down, bro. Get a young guy. Woo! That's out, Hams! It's kind of sad that that's, it's, they can't have anyone here. Yeah. Got him! Woo! Get in there, Tez! Yeah! Touchdown! Woo! Touchdown! Woo! That's a touchdown! And no yet. Now, a touchdown! touchdown. Oh, let's go! Let's go, bro! Touchdown, Tar! Yeah! I mean, I'm pretty sure he got in. Yeah. Oh, he's down. But then he he's gets down. It back. But is the ball coming out? The ball came out and then he get, got it back. I think he's down. He's going to be sure that. But he's then gonna he be, got it back. Yeah, but his knee was down. He's going to be sure they're going to mark him down on the half yard line. Okay, they're gonna run it. Hampton. All right there, what? That's not. That's second down, right? Isn't that second down? No, they, they missed all oh, the two. Oh, Hey, right here, we definitely, you're kicking the onside kick, bro. You have to. You got to, you got to, you got to start trying to steal some possessions, man. Because the defense can't stop anybody. If they get 28, I bet they're going to get pretty high. Yeah, keep playing, man. Dad, we gotta start stealing some possessions though. We're still down three possessions. Plus, we're both eight and three. And this is NC State's home. Walker's a big dude. It's like a target. Yeah, he was down. They, of course, the ACC. They should have reviewed that one, and they should have been down. There we go. Go on. Ah. Why? Why did we not hit him? You should have stinking and lit him up, dude. Second and six, man. You gotta hold him right here, bro. Let's go, Hills! Woo! You make it a Christmas list. DJ's nowhere to sneak and be seen, man. Is that DJ Jones? Come on, man. You guys have got to stink and get off the field, bro. 
Interesting how his arm went. Hey, JJ Jones, man, came out here and played his ass off, dude. Respect. JJ, JJ has played his butt off. R E S P C C T. What? Watch out, I'll move. What? Come on, man, let's go. They've been kicking our butt, Jay. That's that's what's been happening, bro. Let's go. Let's go, kills. Yeah! First down, let's go. Let's go. Downhill right here, 28. 28. Right here, right here. Oh, Mary, and they got three. Oh, come on. Who was that? See, right there with a 30 front, bro, I want to run the football, man. They got a three man front with two outside backers that are split out wide and that one middle backer who's seven, eight yards back. You have got to be able to get four or five yards on that, dude. Every time you should run the football and first down and then throw the football. Because if they're going to send three and drop eight. Hey, 
How he stayed on his feet. <laughs> I don't know why they're running the football now. It's like... That was a pass, son. It's a shovel pass. I know, but like they basically ran the football. Because he gave it to America. Go. Yes! Let's go. Let's go. Good catch, John. Is it? Let's go, John. Doing the football a little bit more. Let's make this thing interesting. No, it's just that it's been a crappy field. Of course it's crappy. You can see, it's, you can see uh, they've, been, they've, had, they've been slipping on it all night. Of course it is. It's only an SC State field. See, look at that. Come on, Drake. Let's go, Bill. That was terrible. They still got a lot of work to do, though, Carlton. Oh! You got it? No, it's not okay. It's gonna be complete. You gotta pick up at least half of it right here, bro. Yeah. We'll see, Carlton. Let's go, Hughes. Woo. Three. Two. Got him. Yes. Go, Tess. Let's go, Woo. baby. First down, Carl yeah. Hughes. Oh, my goodness, bro. As is, that you are. is that offensive? Is that 15 yards? Is that offensive pass interference? Let's see. Yeah, that's too obvious, bro. And you didn't even need to do it because he was free. What do you do, man? Fourth and real long, bro. I appreciate you, Stacy. Hopefully they can hook up right here. You gotta go for it. You gotta go for it. Yeah, the fact that we just put it out away, man, that's almost conceding. That's almost conceding, man. Mr. Carlton, you got it. 
do you want to see ears? What's up, Luke? I appreciate you joining us, man. This one is a bummer. Y'all saw Ramesses? Did he bring Ramesses in there? Ramesses! Yeah, that uh, that punt right there was a concession. <laughs> hey, son. Here, get on the couch, man. <laughs> Easy. Easy with my guy. Come here. Come here, Mass. At least Ramesses can make me feel good. Ain't that right, boy? The mic is blocking <laughs> him. Here, go move the mic or I'll move it so you just think. Let move the mic. So y'all can get the full effect of the puppy power. He's not a puppy. He's the pup. Ain't that right, Massey man? Ain't that right, boy? At least we can all feel good about Ramesses. <laughs> Always. Ain't that right, big guy? Yeah, that stinking, that punt right there was a stinking, that was, that was waving the white flag right there. You know, if you're going to stinking, if you're going to, if you're going to go for an onside kick at your 35, and give them the 45, I'm not really sure why you would punt it right there and, and not go for it. Your defense just got its first stop of the game. Do you really think they're going to be able to do it again? What do you think, Ramesses? Get some candy land in. Woo! Hey, let's go, Hills! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. You like putting it right there, Carlton? I don't know, bro. 
We've been having some success over the middle. I mean, I just... What's the difference between them having to go 85 yards and 45 yards? We can't stop them. Hey, they're going to punt it again. They're going to punt it again, man. Let's see if we can go tempo and get a quick one, bro. That was an early. Make this game a little interesting. He just misses that. He just think it missed that one. shoot out as he came to the sideline. What are you doing? That's not what we've been practicing. Sorry, coach. I was just trying to make a football play. We don't make football plays on this defense. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go, Heels. Get rid of it, Drake. Yes! Oh. Drake is getting blown up, dude. He's battling, man. You go, Drake. Oh, first down, Tar Heels. Say Heels. See how they're only bringing three, though, man. Like, we should be able to run the football. We should be able to get eight, nine, ten yards of pop on these. They're bringing three and dropping eight. Let's go, Heels! Woo! What was that? I don't know. Don't waste the time. You're wasting the time, Heels. Play now. Come on, man. Let's go, man. Get the playoff. Let's go, Heels! Woo! Ah! Yes! Woo! That was a good run. Go, Drake. First down, baby. First down, Tar Heels. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Keep moving the chains. Let's go. First down, Tar. You gotta wait until I say Tar. I don't care. <laughs> We're in a hurry, Dad. Hurry up, snap the football. Oh, I had to. Okay, I see it. He's not covered up, right? Oh, no! No! Why? That's a clean play, son, to hit the DB's arm. And that's a hell of a play by stinking that guy.
Boys, if you're gone, man, I don't stinking, I don't blame you, bro. I appreciate you stopping by, man. I really do. This is about as frustrating as it'll get, man. Hey, for tutorials in here, man, don't, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe the hard take. Let's go, heels! Woo! Get him! Hey, y'all get ready for the, uh, y'all get ready for the, uh, for the bad guys to be jumping in here soon, dude. It's bad. It's bad, Robert. It's bad. I hate it for everybody, man. I hate it for Drake. I hate it for Drake. I hate it for stinking Mac. I hate it for Carolina fans everywhere. From 6-0, and number 10 in the country, to 8-4. and four. Hey, the hard take, bro, they're not even, if they, if they didn't get up for this game, bro, they're not getting up for the bowl game. Guarantee you that, brother. If they couldn't get up for this game, they're not they're not gonna get up for the bowl game, bro. Oh, pass interference on offense. Let's go. And we won't show up for it. Yeah, I mean, if he's gone, bro, I. I wouldn't. Let's go, hit it Like a couple Woo! of the guys, the guys said, man, like, you know, he's been looking a little, he, he's played a little harder in the second half. The first half, man, he really did look disinterested. I appreciate you, the hard take. I appreciate you coming in here trying to uplift my spirits, man. Because I can't stand it. Get these off! Guys. Woo! And, uh, They're going to kick. I know. I just you know, know. They just play stinking harder than we do. They're going to kick. I Very it. disappointing. <laughs> Very disappointing, Stacy. Oh, they got to put it away. Let's go. What Carlton said. And I agree, hard the hard take. That's why it's so frustrating, bro. We have, if we had, if we had the Dabo Swindy coaching staff, bro, you know, that's what we're missing, man. It's coaching. Woo! Absolutely, I said. It's coaching. It's getting these boys stinking ready, man. Ready to battle. Some heart. Some toughness. I know, man. That's why it's so frustrating, bro. It's just because That's of why it's so frustrating. It's, bad it's frustrating. You know, one of the things that I that, that really upsets me is, you know, and this may seem kind of, you know, trivial, but... It upsets me because I'm not soft. And I try to raise my, my son not to be soft. And to see your team just like play with no passion and no pride and to just kind of roll over, that's, that's frustrating. It's not supposed to be that way, bro. The people of North Carolina are not soft. <laughs> But they've they've taken on the personality of the head coach. That's what it boils down to, man. They've taken over. They've taken the personality 
of the head coach. And I love Mac, but he's just not stinking, not tough enough. He's not hard enough. <laughs> I hear you, Carlton. Yeah, we need, we need staying football coaches, man, that stinking require, they have a standard that you will meet. That you will stinking meet, man. And I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the 90s before Mac left, the defense had the right culture. So this is not like it's just, uh, you know, this is just... Permeates Carolina culture. It permeates NC State's culture. It's it's currently that's the way that it is. Come on, yeah. In the nineties, man, we weren't stinking soft, dude. Let's go out. Woo! Yeah, I hear you, SS man. Ain't no reason to break your stuff because. Your team is thinking Peyton. Peyton Wilson is making himself some stinking money, dude. because he's been running around, son. Yeah, man, there was a time, dude, where we weren't soft. That's what we were known for is defense. Well, that's how you save your job at NC State. You beat Carolina. As long as you beat Carolina at NC State, you got a job. Now, it's not that way at Carolina because Mac is about to lose his third in a row. And, you know, they, at Carolina, they like the fact that he's nice and that he's sweet. And, you know, he's a good spokesman. And he's a politician. That's why they like him. And it doesn't matter, you know, as long as he stinks and makes the university look good. Yeah, as long as he makes this thing at university a little good, he's got a job. And it just, it's, uh, what's the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I got a headache and I'm stinking tired, dude. The priorities. NC State prioritizes beating Carolina. Carolina does not prioritize beating NC State. At least anymore. What they prioritize is we need, uh, you know, we need a politician. Oh, definitely the hard take. And I was the biggest guy saying, hey, you know, we're good, man. We're good. Mac is he's gonna he's gonna take care of business, bro. He's let me down this year. And I love him. But um, it's uh, it's time to go in a different direction, man. Too much too much talent on this team for them to continually play soft and. Yeah, she's pretty hard. Maybe she can teach him some toughness. Here's Connor right here. Let's go, Hills! Woo! Hey, I appreciate you, the hard take. Thanks for stopping by, brother. All right, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. I don't 
Only runs let uh, let Connor sling it, man. Daddy, he only gives the ball to him here in the Hampton and runs. He doesn't cross it. Got him. No chance. No stinking chance. <laughs> yep, little bro. Little bro stinking. Little bro got us, man. Hey, um, here's some numbers real quick. I got it out of a uh, one of those Chinese crackers at the Chinese restaurant. If you want to go play the lottery, that's for you, David. You can uh, you can pay me later, bro. Nah, that's not happening, Carlton. Hey, 68 wins soft, bro. Catch up. Nobody still knows who you are outside of the state of North Carolina, so... This time out should be for. Stop being soft. Go lay mom. I just want to show. Yeah, he didn't have a chance, man. Stop being soft. Stop being soft. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't even have a chance, man. Just a stinking speed rush on the outside. And they're peeling their stinking ears back. Oh, yeah, here. Here's a football. Where's the stinking big one, son? I don't know. You had it. I did this not. This is your live stream. <clears throat> yeah, I hear you, Carlton. See, I've been calling the football stuff over the last couple of weeks, but that's where I will disagree. And you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong on this one too, Carlton, but I like, I like what I've seen out of the basketball team. And I think if Cormac is healthy, because we could easily be 6-0. And, and a couple of coaching changes, man, as far as, like, defending, especially Eric Dixon in the Villanova game, hey, we're 6-0, and dude. So, um, are we going to win a natty this year? Doubt it. But, but I like what I see uh, as far as the talent on the basketball team, man. So I'm actually excited about basketball season. Yeah, I'm excited about basketball season. Yeah, I agree, but I mean, you gotta, are you not impressed, Carlton, with, are you not impressed with winning, beating Arkansas by 15 without Cormac, dude? And Armando's not even playing really well right now? Like, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Elliot Cadeau's still fouling out, and you win by 15? It's a ranked wow. Arkansas team. I don't know, man. All the way taped up. Looks like he may give it a go. Here at could be his final game. And if he wants to do one more. Four five steps over. After 42, Mims joins Arkansas in the backfield. Got a terrific. Yes. Got a good, got a good stop. Oh. Being good, just trying to run the clock out. Oh, yeah. So. Still down by three possessions. 
Oh, I'm not saying that everything's pretty. Trust me, there's nothing more frustrating than somebody closing out on a three-point shooter and fouling them and giving them stinking charity stripes. You know, three shots at the charity line. I can't stand that. I can't. But, you know, you got Elliot Cadeau doing that. You got... You know, some younger guys doing it, and Elliot's the one who's thinking, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's growing, man. So, not as hard as I'm, we're three feet away. Six. Good catch. <laughs> yep, the Knowles, man, how about the Knowles, bro? Hey, Pat, did you see Paul uh, Feinbaum's little thing about how he doesn't care if Florida State goes undefeated, they shouldn't be in? I wouldn't say nah. El, El Gordo Gringo, let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something real quick. NC State. I'm going to call it what it is, man. This is how my reaction video is going to be, too. NC State whooped our ass. Has nothing to do with the referees. Has nothing to do with the referees. We got out-hustled, out-cared, out-coached. And that has kind of been the deal since the Virginia game, dude. Dad, I said this coming up here. <laughs> sure. So, nah, this one is not, you know, people people were jumping all over me during the Clemson game because I did believe that the, Cle the Clemson, the Clemson game, you know, should have been much closer if not a Carolina W if a couple of those calls go our way or they don't make some really bad calls. We got our ass handed to us today. It has nothing to do with the referees. This is about culture, man. So I think the referees only made two, one or two bad calls. Yeah, you might be right, Stacy. Yeah, but bro, Gringo, man, I mean, we're talking about I mean, you got to also think, bro, they gave us the touchdown. We would have scored anyway eventually, but they gave us the touchdown on the Tez where he was down at the half-yard line. Like, you know, they it has nothing to do with the referees, bro. It's a culture thing, man. It's not talent. It's coaching and culture. I think it's mostly coaching. I tell you what, if I was Mac Brown, I would stink and I'd be dreading going in front of those cameras. Because if you think that it's just a stinking, if you think it's just another football game, you know, that's one thing. But we don't think it's another football game. I don't think it's just another football game. This game is important. And what's frustrating is that, you know, well, you know, I, I don't even necessarily, I wouldn't even say that, El Gordo. I don't think it's second nature. I mean, they got a new, they got all kinds of new, they got new everything, man. Like Mac Brown said, you know, you got to be the cool place. And they went out and they got, you know, new football facilities. They got all kinds of stuff, dude. All kinds of stuff. But then you're stuck with crappy coaching. Guys that can't motivate, older gentlemen that are out of touch with the younger guys. And you get what you allow. When you allow these kids to stink in, you know, it's just a soft culture. You can see it. They don't tackle well. There's no real passion. Look at 
Look at the difference between the guys on the guys in red and the guys in Carolina blue. Look at the difference in their persona, the way that they tackle, the way that they care. It's a culture thing. Can't buy heart and pride, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's the type of kids that you recruit. You know? I'm not eating anything up. Now, I, I, look, Gringo, I'm not going to lie to you. At the beginning of the season, I did. I'm the first one to tell you, bro, I bought it all. And I had absolute faith that Mac Brown was going to get us to where we needed to be. I'll be the first one to tell you that, bro. I bought, I bought it hook, line, and sinker. But, you know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, and you fooled me more than two times. So shame on me the second, third, and fourth time. It's not happening no more, bro. Oh, I care. I cared in 2016 and 2017, SS. I watched every stinking game. I watched Nate Elliott throw stinking swing passes until his freaking arm was about to fall off. I watched it all, bro. I care. Pat, you know that money is not my... Uh, that's not my thing, bro. That's not what drives me. That's not what drives me, man. That's not how I was built, bro. There's, there are things in life that are more important than money. Your last name, where you're from, those are things that will never change. Being able to look yourself in the mirror, be proud of what you do and what you stand for, those are things that you can hang your hat on, bro. <clears throat> that money stuff, man, it's good. But that's not going to be my selling point, man. Carolina is going to scrimmage from his 13 and time for Jangles Football Bowl. And it is final home game at Carter Finley in his 34th season as the voice of Warback. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Hall. Mac needs to retire. I agree, G. I think it's about time, bro. So we're going to have the net. Chip Lindsay? Huh? Are we gonna have two Lizzie? I don't know, but. Is probably because this is not a home game. Oh, Mac, man, yeah. When Mac returned, Stacy, good night, bro. We were stinking. I mean, we had just gotten finished with. The last two years of the Fedora ordeal, which was super tough. So, yeah, he brought the interest back, you know, and then people began to care again. Unfortunately, you know, we were kind of sold a bill of goods that we've, we've, re we've returned back to regional relevance. I don't know, Daniel. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Gee. Gee, you might be absolutely right, dude. That's what's crazy. Because they have a coaching staff. Which, that's what I'm saying. Do we have the personnel? Yes. Are there some... Weak spot, sure. Poor coaching with no development. Hot billing. You a bigger fan of Lawrence Taylor on the field or off the field? We are. On the field. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Another pick. And that was, that was right through his hands. On the field, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I care about football players. I could give a rip less 
what you do during your barbecue on Saturday. I don't care what your politics are. I don't care about none of that crap. What I care about is are you a good football coach that can motivate young men and develop them into a winning program. There is no reason why the University of North Carolina, with all that it has to offer, cannot put all those things together. Just like G said, if State had Carolina's talent, they'd be playing for national titles. Because they have football coaches with culture, and they have football coaches that that have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They have a standard. That's 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 what it boils down to, bro. Yeah, I'd love to have stinking Butch, man. I I hated when we got rid of him, dude. I hated when we got rid of Josh Downs. I appreciate you, Stacy. I know that's what's so that's so what's so sad, Carlton. Yeah, bro, they have everything that they need. Except an admin that would stink and, you know, support a dog. I agree, Stacy. I agree. I'm still, like, I, I tell people all the time, 2010, man, you know, people... 2010 could have been could have been a special year. And I am I'm uh it's crazy man. I tell you what, at least you guys have taken my stinking mind off of the last five minutes of this game. In the second half of what? Let's see, the second half? Well, I mean, they were 2-4 and four last year, and now they went from 6-0 and oh to 8-4, and four, so they're 2-4, and 2-4, and 2-4, and 2-4, and 2-4. And four. And four and four. Two and four and two and four. <clears throat> you know, I don't, I'm not going to place this. I'm not going to place it on Drake. You know, did he play great? No. But once again, man, it's one of the top down, dude. It's one of the top down. I mean, here, I'll give you a, uh, with the best quarterback in school history. I'm going to tell you what the problem is right here. And I know he didn't have like a stinking monster game. How does Drake May lead the team in rushing? But this is what I want. This is what I want everybody to stink in. See right here. Yep. Okay. Hey. <clears throat> the nation's leading rusher had nine carries for 28 yards. Did they run the football great? No, of course they didn't. But he had 11 touches. Remember I said 40? You didn't even give him a chance. Didn't even give him a chance, bro. Yeah, no Brandon Armstrong anymore. No more Peyton Wilson. None of those guys. Hey, you just hear what Peyton Wilson said?
<laughs> That's between me and my friends. <laughs> that was awesome. I can't really talk, but that was funny how he said that. that. What are you doing tonight to celebrate? He said, well, that's between me and my friends. <laughs> that was kind of Bobby Boucher-ish. <laughs> that's pretty funny, man. Yep. He said, if you want, if you want culture, come to Raleigh. Carlton, already recruiting off the win, bro. If you want culture, come to Raleigh. And, and you know what? I think that that question needs to be... Uh, bro, if I could stink and call AJ from the Tar Heel Illustrated or Greg Barnes or somebody from Inside Carolina, I'd say, please ask this question to Mac. What do you think about Peyton Wilson saying, if you want culture, come to Raleigh? You think that question gets asked? What do you think Mac would say? What do you think Mac would say? I wish so bad, Carlton. I wish so bad that they... I, I want to ask him that question. That's a great question. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, tough loss today. Uh, NC State handed you guys your stinking ass for the third year in a row. Um, and Peyton Wilson said after the game, he said, if you want culture, come to Raleigh. I would love to hear what Mac had to say about that. That's a hell of a statement, dude. And it sums it up, man. It sums it up. He would never let anyone like us in the room. <laughs> I mean, I'd be respectful about it. So look, I don't, have, I don't have to ask it, you know, with any kind of animosity or anything. It's like, hey, coach, what do you think about Peyton Wilson and his comment after the game? If you want culture, come to Raleigh. And it's like I said, bro, the most frustrating thing is that if you take NC State's coaching staff and you pair it with Carolina's talent, bro, you're you're a top 10 team every year. And what State does is they do a great job of getting, maximizing the potential out of what they have. This is the, this is the, that is State ceiling. That's State ceiling. Nine and three. And you know what? They whooped our ass. Whooped our ass. We have top 15 recruiting classes three of the last four years. NC State hasn't even come close to that. But what they have is culture and coaching. Yeah. On the nail, Stacy. End of the year, almost identical as last year. I, absolutely, Docs. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. George, if you could just maybe uh, write to St. Nick, man, and tell him if he could just come down my chimney and, um, and, and, and just give me a new coaching staff, I would be stinking. I'd be happy, man. I'd be happy. It's, it's 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 time to change, guys. It's time to change, bro. 39 to 20 against NC State and Raleigh, and you guys came out sleepwalking, unmotivated, unfired up. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, man. So listen. Listen. It's stinking 1130. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys, okay? The stinking reaction video, it's not going to be sexy. I'm not going to put a whole bunch of stinking graphics in there. Um, but I'm going to speak my freaking mind. Because I am completely let down and disappointed 
and uh, I'm si I, I'm sick of it, bro. Because that right there, that was inexcusable, inexcusable. There's no reason for it, bro. No reason for it, man. No stinking reason for it. So we get to these last couple of comments real quick, man. Hey, send me the meme. Send me the meme, Carlton. Daniel, you're on to it, bro. I appreciate you, Stacy. Thank you guys for stopping by. <clears throat> yeah, they're not winning ships, bro. They're not winning ships, Lewis. They, they've. This is them reaching their. This is their ceiling, bro. It's their ceiling, man. Their ceiling is nine and three, maybe a ten and two. And beating the hell out of Carolina. That's their ceiling, bro. Hey, Stacy, I'm right there with you. I'm a football guy. I love basketball, but I'm a football guy, man. And I care. And that's why I can't stand it when they come out here and they play like ass. And they get handed their, their ass by their stinking rival, man. Yeah, send me the send me the ideal, Carlton, and I was thinking I'll try to make it happen, bro. It is with this coaching staff. That's what I'm saying. Listen, and I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this. Uh, okay, I'll check it out, Carlton. But I'm going to answer uh, Chapel Thrill Tar Heels real quick. What's our ceiling because it's apparently lower than Moo Yu? NC State will never, never get a top five, top ten, maybe once in a blue moon get a top 15 recruiting class. But they have a good coaching staff with a good culture. Therefore, they have maximized their potential. Nine and three, maybe ten and two, and then beating Carolina – at the end of the year. They're not winning a national title. They're never going to be in the stinking playoff picture ever. It's not happening. We know that. If you take Carolina's recruits and you couple them with a coach that can bring in a similar culture with the brand, the facilities, and everything that Carolina has to offer... Our ceiling is so much farther above what NC State could even dream of, period. That's what I'm saying. This year with this coaching staff and this soft culture that we have, you take that and couple it with really good athletes and you get a crappy product. We did not maximize our potential. Therefore, ipso facto, this season was an absolute failure. Eight and four, Losing to NC State, not losing, getting your ass handed to you by NC State at the end of the year, that is an issue. That's the difference between coaching and culture. So, look, I love you guys, man, and I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out. Unfortunately, we got to sit here and watch one of the worst football games that we've seen in a while. 39-20 ass whooping by. NC State. And you know what? I think it's about time, bro, that um that we start looking elsewhere. I'm going to talk about it in a reaction video. Like I said, it ain't going to be sexy. There ain't going to be a whole bunch of stinking, you know, <clears throat> um, graphics and stuff like that. I'm just going to let you know how I feel. I'm just going to let you know how I feel because they didn't show up for NC State. I almost guarantee you that they're not going to stink and show up for the bowl game, bro, and I'm pissed off. So anyway, I love you guys. If you haven't already, if you're in here, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Consider being a member of the Huddle, Huddle Hooligans. And don't forget, baby, we got basketball. I hate saying this, but good night, bro. <laughs> At least it's Carolina basketball season because that was sickening. So... Live stream December 20, uh, November 29th. Good night, I'm a month ahead. November 29th, we'll watch the Tennessee game together, bro. And um, we'll have a good time, man. So 
Carolina gets their ass handed to them. I'm going to get off of here and make this thinking video. Y'all make sure that y'all tune into that thing and, and let me know what you think, all right? I love you, Tar Heel Nation, and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one, baby.